There you are, Len. Well, let's get right to work. First, take this to the program in Scilab 1. We get fire data. So, simple enough a procedure. Two thousand zennies. Delicious. Uh, right at the exit. I don't trust you rats, not one bit. What? You're gonna install this data in me? Nobody told me about this, why wasn't I informed? But if a Scilab person says I need it, I must need it. All right, I'll take the data. Wow, what's this burning sensation? Is it just me or is it getting really hot in here? All right, I'm back. That's it, right? Thanks a lot, Len. Now for the lobby vending machine. What, another one? We're almost done. Hurry up and finish, please. Lobby vending machines next. We promised. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Here's the next one. Take it to the vending machine. Just give it to the program in there. Thanks. <laughs> Not suspicious at all. And we get heat data. Sensing a theme here. I wonder if this data is... Ouch, that's hot. It must be data for making hot drinks. I was just thinking to make coffee, but it's a little early. I'd better get ready to switch over to hot drinks first. Okay, now I'm ready to take it. Ooh, whoa, this is way too hot. Ouch, hot, too hot. But if I can use it to make delicious coffee, that's great. We're done, Mr. Match. Well done, now for the next one. You mean there's more? Don't talk like that. This is the last one. Next is your Pops Research Lab. Hurry along now. Oh man. No, I don't want to go back on the elevator. Here's the last one. Take this to the program in the computer and install, uh, install it into him. And we get flame data. possibly want in such a busy time. I'm too tired to speak to anyone. What? You're giving me this data? I'm not scheduled to do this, but the data looks hot as fire. If I load this into myself, maybe it'll ease my fatigue just like a nice hot bath. Okay, I'll load it in and see. Here we go. Ouch, it's hot, but it works. This heat could melt away any fatigue. Ah. I feel so much better. Ouch, it's getting too, too hot, too hot. Fantastic. That's the last of them. You've been great. Look, here's a little something for all your effort. A chip for Lava Stage T. I don't need any payment. This makes us even. I'm not out to put you in my debt again, Len. This is just my way of saying thank you. What? You're too good for my thanks now? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, all right. I'll take it. And so we get a Lava Stage T. All right, we're leaving now. Thanks a lot, Len. I have one more thing to do here, so I'll see you later. Now then, time to begin. <laughs> Not suspicious in the least. Something down here I kind of wanted to check. Okay, he doesn't care about that at all. But we're pretty much free to go home now. So back to ACDC town with us. But for now, we're just going to halt right here. Things are 
about to get a bit frantic, so time for a refreshing pause. Right then, so continuing on. I mean, all we really have to do is go to our room, so I don't see what could possibly- Oh my god's plot! By the time Lan got home, Scilab was in serious trouble. Don't you think it's unusually hot today? Is the air conditioner broken? What in the... Maybe it's broken? Ow, this vending machine's burning hot. I'll jack in and see what's going on. Be careful. I didn't order fire! Someone help! It's boiling in here. What happened? Hurry, evacuate! For some reason, the computer suddenly started smoking. Terrible habit! The heat from the computer got into the air duct, heating the entire building. If the temperature continues to rise, the computer may explode. Hurry, evacuate the building! The computer may explode from the heat? This isn't happening. What can we do? Nothing. We can't even get near the computer, let alone jack into it. Oh no, if we don't do something quick, Scilab will be destroyed. Dr. Hikari, it's no use. Let's get out of here. The room temperature's over 120 degrees. The computer's about to spit flame. There's evidence that some data has been altered. What the... This can... This is no mere computer malfunction. Someone has actually sabotaged the system. You mean this wasn't an accident? No, this was a calculated assault. Hurry, run to safety. But what about you, Dr. Hikari? I've got to retrieve the backup data. If the Scilab system is destroyed, all of Electopia will be in chaos. I must do whatever I can to prevent that. Leave this to me. You, hurry out. What are you doing? I'm not leaving you. I'm a scientist, too. I'm ready to give my life to protect Scilab. Thank you. Now the question is, can we last as long as it takes to get the backup data? Dr. Hikari, we'll help, too. The more there are, the faster we can finish. You guys. Alright, let's hurry up and get that data. <coughs> Meanwhile, we've got mail. Hmm? An emergency news flash? Oh no, Lan! What, is something wrong? This mail, it says... A fire's just occurred at Scilab. At present, the fire's localized, but the internal temperature is 160 degrees and rising. Ten scientists have been hospitalized. No, this has got to be some kind of mistake. Dad! Mega Man, we gotta get over to Scilab. Right. And so back we go. While Mom continues to obliviously watch this same commercial for whatever that is. You'd think that would be on the TV too. So over to Scilab with us. Sir, where's my dad? Is he alright? Your Dr. Hikari's... Where is he? He's, uh, well... No. He's still in his lab. Why hasn't anyone gone to save him? In that heat, Dad, he'll... I know, believe me, we want to. But it's too hot to even send a rescue team inside. And we've got a phone call. Hey there, Len. How's the Scilab? Is it hot enough for you? Match, you're behind all this. You've been lying all along about having changed your evil ways. You were a big help. Thanks to you, my operation went perfectly. I helped you? No. No, I couldn't have. I'd never helped the World 3. Oh, but you have. Face the facts. You're the reason why Scilab is facing this crisis. I'm the reason? You big coward. You won't get away with this. That's it. Let your hate flare up. It'll only serve to feed my hungry flames. You know, I never dreamed you'd be so gullible. What a sucker. Do you know why those World 3 Navis appeared all over the net? No. Because I put them there. <laughs> Children are so naive. So much fun to dupe. Yes, I deceived you, but it was you two who perpetrated this crime. Accept it. You're one of us. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because we totally knew what we were doing. Moral ambiguity. I can't be. Now then, Len, are you up for a little game? 
a game? I'll now send Flame Man to set the whole net ablaze. If you can put out all the fires, I'll allow you to fight Flame Man. If you win, I'll put out the flames at Scilab. If you don't hurry, everyone inside will be burned to ash. Lan, it doesn't look like we have any choice. I can't let Dad and everyone uh, die because of what I did. Alright, Match, I'll play your game. The heat is on. Go, Flame Man, turn the net into an ocean of flame. Fire! Rah! <laughs> How are we going to put out the flames? Do we have anything that we could use, Mega Man? We need water to extinguish fire. Hey, how about that stupid plot program? Ugh. If it can produce fire, it might produce water. That program. And we've got mail. Fire alert. A giant fire has swept through the internet, causing extreme damage. It continues to burn with no end in sight. General use Navi should jack out immediately. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and mess with the program. And as a viewer pointed out, I apparently never removed energy change. Well, we need the blasted thing anyway. So let's get rid of that. Move some things around. Gonna want the fish program to try and attract as many aquavirus as I can. Put that there. That goes there. And we'll use a speed. Okay. It's about as good as I can get for now. Because, yes, I am going to need press, unfortunately. So, we need to extinguish the entire net. Hey, remember how annoying the hospital scenario was? Let's do it across the entire blasted network and without the ability to skip any of them. Yeah, you have to extinguish every single fire. Kind of an annoying scenario, this one. Okay, organized by element. Unfortunately, you still have to do some scrolling to get down to where the aqua chips are. And we have to do this all over the net. But at least we can find the World 3 ID doors, too. Panic C. Okay. Unfortunately, not every area has aquaviruses to even attract, so, uh... Yeah, it doesn't even supply you with as many chips to use on that blasted program as the hospital did. Wonderful game design. This is easily one of the more annoying scenarios in the series. have to keep an eye out over every single blasted path here to make sure I don't skip any of the fires. Ah, uh, I'll just do it this way. Yes, even if it's not actually in your way, you still have to put it out. Including ones that are hiding viruses. Completely ignored the cannon. Amazing. That, like, makes no sense. It even had more health than the Metars. Anti-damage is a very strange chip sometimes. It really is. Still fun, but... I mean... I can't make heads or tails of why it did that. You do occasionally get chips for bubble side F, at least. Just not quite as frequently as you could get the heat shot eyes back in the hospital.
There we go. Probably the Yoka Net is the best as far as replenishing your chip supply, at least. It just unfortunately also has a lot of the press passages you have to go through. But yes, we pretty much have to do this here in ACDC, over in Yoka, on the beach area, and Scilab. I guess at the very least we don't have to go and do this over at Hades Isle. <laughs> 